Our project is a hexapod robot. It uh, has 12 degrees of freedom using these servos, and uh, it can see obstacles using an ultrasonic sensor, and it displays a face showing its mood uh, depending on uh, how many obstacles it's recently seen. So the more obstacles it seems, sees, the more uh, unhappy it gets, the more angry it gets. Okay, the the LEDs are overexposing my camera, but I can, oh, no. I can, okay, now I got it, yeah, okay. So, All right, okay. so so the ultraset, so it, 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 it tries to back away from a obstacle, yeah. and um, let's see it run. Okay. How did it know? How did it know to start when you put it down? There's a button on it. I see. So you were holding the button. Oh, there's the blue face, and it's backing away. And now it's blue again. And now it's green. Oh, you 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 made it mad now. So for the walking algorithm, we originally tried to have an insect-like walking algorithm where the robot doesn't stop. If you slow down the video, you'll see that it's all the legs move forward and then it lunges its body forward. We did this to uh, reduce, like, I guess, drift to one side. Because if you move all legs at the same time, it tends to just slowly turn to left or right. And um, our servos aren't that accurate. So we said we moved all the legs together forward and then we pull the body forward. Mm -hmm. Well, I make it mad there. It made it mad finally. <laughs> now that was that like a little blink when the eyes. I think that's the noise of that. Very cool. You've tested this for quite a while too. It's pretty reliable. Which is surprising because those. Does, do the servos get hot or anything? We've run them for a pretty long time before, and they've been fine. We haven't heard that one yet. Okay. All right. Thank you.